Musky Gang, welcome back to my YouTube channel. <laughs> what do you do, guys? I hope new rights, new brides, new relevant. I miss you guys so much. Yeah, 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 yeah. You already know. But I'm back today with another makeup video for you guys. So I hope you guys are gonna enjoy this. If you're new on this channel, please don't forget to and to comment down below and to give this video a thumbs up you can also share it with your friends because i mean why not yeah man without any waste of time guys um today i decided to create a soft glam look get ready with me video whereby i'm gonna be doing my makeup hair outfit valentine's date vibes so if you are interested in seeing how i achieve this look Please keep on watching. So I am going to start off by doing my eyebrows. And to do my eyebrows, I use my spoolie to brush out my eyebrows so that they can be in place. This makes it easier for me to see my eyebrow shape and to follow it with the eyebrow pencil and to fill it in properly. Then I'm going to take my eyebrow pencil. I usually use black, but a lot of people prefer using deep brown. To fill in my eyebrows, I usually start by drawing the bottom line and this becomes easier because I've already brushed out my eyebrows using my spoolie. I then just follow the shape of my eyebrows and I drag the bottom line to the point that I'm pointing at right now. That's where the tail of my eyebrows usually lands. I then go to the top of my eyebrows and if you can see here, I start slightly behind the line of my eye of my top eyebrows. I usually do this because I want them to look natural at the beginning. I want them to have that natural effect. I want them to look like they are my eyebrows even though we know that they're not. And I want them to have that ombre effect. I then go in with the same eyebrow pencil. I start by filling in my tail. I make it a bit darker then as I go towards the middle of my eyebrow I start um, going in with a lighter hand then towards the beginning of my eyebrow I start going in with upward strokes because as I said I want them to have a natural ombre effect I want them to go from light to dark I then go in with my eyebrow brush and brush out my eyebrows I usually focus mainly on the front part of my eyebrows because I just want to fade them out and make them look a little bit lighter at the beginning. I then go in with my concealer and I'm using the LA Girl Pro Conceal in the shade Espresso to just conceal my eyebrows and make them look sharp and very clear. I outline them using a flat angled brush I then go into my black opal eyeshadow palette and I take the color black and I just go into my outer corner with it and I just try to deepen it. I then dab into that kind of orange looking shade. Then I fill it in the middle part of my eyelid. I then use a small fluffy brush to just go in and blend so that I get rid of any harsh lines so that my eyeshadow looks seamless and natural. I 
Having done that, I then take a different flat angled brush and mind you, I'm using clean brushes for every shade that I use on this makeup video. So I take a maroon shimmery looking um, eyeshadow from the same eyeshadow palette and I pack it in the inner corner of my eye. And then once more, again, I am going to go in with a fluffy brush and just blend so that the colors can just fuse into each other. I then take the Huda Beauty Mesmerizing Eyeliner and just outline the line of my top lashes. This is to make sure because I have already put on my false strip lashes. So this is just to hide that line. I then go in with my Passion Complete Cover Liquid Foundation and just apply it all over my face because it has to cover every area on my face. Having done that, I then go in with a foundation brush and just use it to dab the product into my face. Now, I love using a brush for my foundation because it doesn't use up a lot of products. It doesn't take away a lot of product from my skin. Instead, it makes sure that there is more product that is left on my skin and less product that is taken by the brush. So I use it to just blend in my foundation into my skin and I dab this foundation into my skin. I don't drag it, but I dab it into my skin. I then go in with my beauty blender, but I only do this if I feel like I want to minimize or reduce the amount of product that is on my skin. If I feel like there's excess product on my skin that the brush could not absorb, I then go in with the clean, damp beauty blender and I just blend in that foundation. Once again, I take my LA Girl Pro Conceal and I use it to highlight and I'm using the same shade that I use to conceal my eyebrows which is espresso I start by highlighting my under eyes and if you can see I highlight or apply this concealer at each under eye at a time this is because I found that it takes little to no time to dry up so I apply it on one under eye then i blend it in then i move to the next one then i blend it in then i move to my cupid's bow area then i blend it in i move to my chin then i blend it in then i move to my forehead then blend it in now i then take the same damp beauty blender that i've been using and i go into my black opal deluxe finishing powder then i take some of that product and i dab it into my skin and i only apply it on those areas of my face that i have highlighted those areas of my face in which i applied the conceal this is to set the cream concealer that i used to my favorite favorite part contouring i take my la girl pro conceal in the shade mahogany then i fill in the line just below my cheekbones if you want to know where to contour just pout then your cheeks will create a natural line then you just follow that line that is between the upper side of your ear and the base of your nose 
I then apply some concealer on my jawline as well as the top of my forehead and I just go all around with it just to bring in that warmth back into my face. I then take a fluffy brush to blend in my concealer and I usually blend it in upward strokes this is because i want the concealer to move towards my cheekbones so that it can give my cheeks that lifted look i don't want it to be dragged down towards my lips because i want a very um structured makeup look i don't want it to look muddy but i want it to look structured I just simply blend in all the places where I applied the concealer, including my chin and my cheekbones and my jawline as well as my forehead. And when I get to my forehead, if you can see here in this video, I usually go in with the brush in circular motions and I blend it towards my hair so that it can look like my skin. It can look like it's literally coming from my hair because I'm trying to get rid of any harsh lines. I then go in using the same beauty blender into my setting powder, which is the same powder that I've been using, the Black Opal Deluxe Finishing Powder. Then I just use that setting powder too vague and I do this by just applying it below my contour. So in between the two contours, in between the two lines that I created with my concealer to contour, I then just apply that powder just to create a distinct line so that there'll be a difference between the line on top and the line underneath the line on my cheekbone and the line on my jaw line then right now i just allow the powder to sit on my skin i know i look kind of crazy but i allow it to sit on my skin for roughly five minutes and then i take a big fluffy brush and then just sweep it off my skin i just like sort of dust it off using the brush and this brush is like a clean brush so i dust the powder off my skin After doing that, I go in to the areas where I did not apply any powder, which is the areas where I contoured. I then go in with my Passion Pro Compact Powder just to make sure that I set those areas that I did not set with the setting powder at first. Lastly, I then take a small fluffy brush, then I take the shade that I used to apply on my inner corner when I was doing my eyeshadow. I take the same shade, I apply it on the bridge of my nose and on the base of my nose just to bring in some shimmer and some glow, you know what I'm saying, into my nose to finish off this look. I then take my LA Girl Pro Setting Spray and I apply it all over my face. This ensures that my makeup lasts longer and it gets rid of that puffiness and dryness that was caused by the powder that I used to set and to bake my face.
thank you so much for stopping by and tuning in and watching this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and leave me a comment down below um tell me if you enjoyed it tell me what you enjoyed most about it if you're willing to recreate it and yeah you can also suggest some of the things that you'd like to see me try on this youtube channel i'm open to suggestions and i just want to hear from you guys what you guys have to say thank you so much for your support and without any waste of time see you next time on my next video love you so much bye